everybody keeps hitting me up about a Wedding Crashers sequel. We don't have a script that we're there with yet. Um, for many, many years, every year I got offered uh, to do the sequel. There were some very big deals on the table. And none of us really wanted to do a retread of the same movie again. You know, we didn't want... And anything within those first years that we talked about was the same movie. And we were like, why? You know, uh, financially, I probably should have done that. But that, but <laughs> that is... Uh, I did. And, not, and Vincent Owen didn't want to do it either. Um, but 10 years later, when I was asked again, and I hung up the phone after saying no, I thought about it and I'm like, well, I'd be curious what it'd be like for guys in their late forties who end up being single again and have to go back out into the world. Like what a weird, difficult, challenging story that is. And as long as there's a real story in the middle of it to me, it can be a movie. Um, you know, every one of my films, I try to have something that explores something that the characters are going through that I'm trying to work out myself, or I think the audiences could try to work out. And so we'll see. So we started noodling on it a while ago and um, we're unclear yet. You know, Vince has to read it and Owen has to read it. I saw something that seemed like a good start, um, but there's no rush to go make that movie. And I'm not sure what's next. You know, I always, I see a lot of comedies. Comedy is in a very interesting place right now. I was really happy to be back in it and to do it again. Um, it is my fastball and I do love, the experience of it. And, you know, we'll see how this com comes out for Netflix. You know, I hope it does well. Um, and uh, it's certainly a movie that I think people will discover is really entertaining and really a relief from everything that's going on right now. Oh, a hundred percent. But one of the things, and I know, I, I know I got to wrap, but one of the things about a wedding crasher sequel now versus doing it 12 years ago is yeah. that you can use what a lot of sequels are doing now, which is you're using real time to, to allow the characters to now have aged. Exactly. And, and that make that is a way more compelling sequel than just doing it three years later, repeating Absolutely. the Absolutely. Look at Blade Runner. Look, I love Blade Runner. The, the 20, was it 2049? Is that the date? 2049 is amazing. I love that movie, and I love that Harrison is in it. He's not in it as a cameo. He's really in the movie, and it means something, and it answers things that I've been wondering about. I mean, I thought that movie was tremendous and I, it couldn't have happened. It should never have happened until then. So that was one of those movies that really struck me as well. I, I agree with what you're saying, man. I think that's totally right. Like tell a new story. That's the whole thing. Like don't do the same thing again. I, there are many comedies that I like the sequels to. Again, Austin Powers, I thought the sequel was, the second movie was better than the first. Um, but you know, we grew up with Jaws 2 and like <laughs> sequels were, were shitty for a long time unless it was a series like james bond it was really um sequels were a joke a bit of a joke and when it first came out and there was one afternoon when owen and vince and i sat around and talked about it and you could feel like even if we were laughing at it we were coming up with hilarious shit it really was us kind of riffing what we'd done and we just looked at each other and we're like let's not do it you know i don't want to there's no need to you know, but I would, I will tell you that like the idea of those, getting, being able to see those two guys and get together and do that again would be a thrill. You know, I'm a fan of them. 